I'm a beautiful Pisces. Okay, Pisces. So we're going to do a quick reading here. This reading is going to be in regards to how this person feel about you. Okay, we're going to do an energy check-in. So let's see. How does this person feel about you, Pisces? Don't forget to hit that like button. Go ahead and put this person on your mind, Pisces, in regards to who you want to know. Put this person on your, on your mind. Maybe I would say your mind's eye. Maybe your third eye. Maybe that might help to kind of like tap in. Okay. It might help me to tap and tap in. Put this person on your third eye, Pisces. Tell you how this person feels about you. How does this person feel about my Pisces? How does this person feel about my Pisces? How does this person feel about my Pisces? All right, we have the Ten of Pentacles here, Pisces. Okay, so this may be an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. Their story is the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So for some of you guys, this person may be really feeling like headstrong about a situation here um, in regards to money, finances. Or some type of responsibility here. Family, children. What are they thinking when it comes to you? Ooh, King of Pentacles. Capricorn. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. How does this person feel deep down inside about you? Pisces, how does this person feel deep down inside about you, Pisces? King of Wands in reverse. <laughs> okay. It is a lot of masculine energy coming up here. This person obviously feels like very headstrong about a situation here. This does, this could have to be about division of assets, money, um, inheritance. You know, this person is obviously like, I, honestly, I'm going to keep it real. Someone feels like, someone feels kind of like angry and resistant in regards to this situation, okay? They're thinking the King of Pentacles, so they may even be thinking about what they may have to owe you, give to you, their responsibility to you in a situation, or their responsibility to a family or even children, so or a position where there's money involved, this person feels like there's some type of obligation here or they're thinking like, they're thinking about their obligations. I'm sorry. This person is thinking about obligations here in regards to money and finances here with you. And they're very resistant of it at the same time. Very angry about it, okay? Very frustrated about it. Very angry about it. Okay, how are they coming towards you? Yeah, death here in reverse, okay. Scorpio energy now. We have you could be dealing with an Aries Leo, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus, or Scorpio here, some moon rising Venus sign. So yeah. This person, obviously the way they're coming towards you, they have not changed their stance on this position. They have not changed their attitude about this position or the way that they're going about it. So something has not changed. If they were like, cause the 10 of pentacles in reverse, this could also have to do with like a loss of money or a loss of finances, or this person may have like some type of issue here with, with giving or dividing their assets. You know, they, they feel some type of way about that. Um, I feel like this person has not changed. Their energy has not changed. Their action has not changed. Their behavior has not changed. Mm. They're very rigid, very stubborn, very headstrong about the situation. Outside influencing how this person feels about you. What's out, the outside determining factor here? Yeah, Eight of Swords. Like, this is so sad. Okay, this is sad. When the outside determining factor is basically jail, because then we also have the devil. So that's really sad. It's almost like the only thing that is a, a, a defining factor here is, okay, I don't want to go to jail. 
or, um, you know, I don't want to be locked up. It's weird. It's like almost like someone has a responsibility or a duty to you in a situation and they're very angry and frustrated about it and they don't actually want to follow through with it. Like their actions are totally something different, but in their head, they know that something could totally go wrong for them. This could land them in jail or imprisonment or, you know, like it's weird. It's like they feel like they're being forced to do something that they don't want to do. Okay, based off of obligations or responsibility or duty to you. So what is their next move towards you? What is their next move towards you? They're, they're very negative in their thinking. Yeah, three of swords. Three of swords here. <laughs> I'm sorry that some of you guys have to go through this and that you're even asking about this person. Um Four of Pentacles, this person is very like, this person is very closed off and they have a lot of mental anguish towards you. Um, so I don't know who you're asking about, but it's obviously somebody here who does not want to, they don't want to have a sense of duty here to something in regards to you. They don't want to divide their assets here with you. Um, they just don't. They feel like there is something that they can't, they can't avoid though. Um, they do feel like it's something that they can't avoid and that makes them even more angry, upset, or kind of like vicious in some way. And I do feel like this person. Oh this person. <laughs> this person has a lot of mental anguish here. In regards to you. It hasn't changed. Something hasn't changed. Their attitude hasn't changed to you. Uh, the way they're coming towards you. It's, it's not changing. They still think negative. They're still holding themselves in this like captivity or mental prison here about you. It's like they feel like you have them trapped. This person, I feel like this person really blames you for a lot of their issues and they feel like you have them stuck or trapped in a position here. But really, they have themselves. I mean, for God's sakes, they're coming up as the king, as a king. So they have themselves in this position, honestly. They're keeping themselves in this position. Uh, honestly, like if they're looking, if the third party, a third, whoever, if they're watching right now, they're literally, literally like they're keeping themselves in this captivity here. They're keeping themselves in this type of situation. Okay. By being so resistant. Yeah. And by not wanting to heal. It's like this person is avoiding healing. Like they don't want to heal. They don't want to heal. It's like, I want to be angry. I want to oppose Pisces. I want to be frustrated. I want to be angry. That's that's their choice. Like, um, that's their mindset. The harder how they feel about you. Yeah, five of, five of wands, you guys. In, okay, five of wands. So honestly, this is so weird. The heart of how they feel about you is that, like, they want to come out of drama here with you. They may want to avoid any drama or conflict or any furthermore drama or conflict, especially with the wheel being in reverse. I guess they want to avoid any furthermore drama or conflict. But with the, but with the nine of wands, they're still holding this uh, grudge. They're still holding a grudge against you. They still have a chip on their shoulder. Um, and with the seven of swords behind it, I feel like with the hangman, oh, my God, in the four of pentacles, this is like they're still steady trying to find some type of strategy. They're not the, the will is in my, they're not they're not willing to see some type of change or something here fortunate happening in the situation because if they were that's the type of that would have been the type of energy that they would have been putting out but they're not putting they're not putting any type of energy out they're trying to avoid any further more drama or conflict they want to maybe even come out of drama and conflict here with you I honestly feel like this person does want to come out of drama and conflict here with you, but it's like they have to change their ways, their attitude, their behaviors towards you. And that's what they're avoiding doing. Like, it's like you can't do the same shit and expect like different results. And that's what they're trying to do. They feel like that they can act or do what they want to like. They feel like they can act or behave the way they want. Like with total disregards to how it affects you or anyone else. 
And it, it just doesn't work like that. You know, they're going to keep themselves in this situation where they're shelling money out to you or having to be, you know, give you so much of part of something that, you know, they're working hard for or that they have worked hard for. And <laughs> the three of swords in reverse is so sad because it's like you are the one, this person is the one, I'm sorry. They are the one that has this mental anguish here in regards to you. And it's like they they can't just, it's like they keep thinking negative about you or they keep saying negative things about you. So they keep saying negative things about you. It's like things are never going to get better. Even though I feel like they really want to come out of some type of drama and conflict here with you. Okay. I don't feel like this person does want to continue to fight here with you because they know that they're fighting a losing battle. They realize that they're fighting a losing battle. Give me one romance angel cards. What do I need to let Pisces know about this person? One romance angel card, please. Give me one card. I just saw free yourself. Yeah, it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Over our energy is past life relationship. This is about somebody who you've had some type of past relationship here with, past connection here with. Okay. Situation seems to be karmic. It could be a karmic lesson because it's a past life relationship. It could be like a past life. I mean, for some of you guys, it's a past life karmic relationship that you had with someone, or it was a relationship in the past, and it was a it's a karmic cycle here. Um, this person is like honestly still, you know, obviously going through the motions here. But um, it is safe for you to love, open your heart, and give and receive the highest energy of all. It's really sad because I do feel like this person deep down inside, I do feel like this person really wants to find a way here to kind of like open their heart because the three of swords is the like the card where the heart is here and the three of swords is here um but i feel like this person is having a difficult time doing something here because of something that may have happened in the past with you so it's like they're having a hard time opening up their heart here okay healing their heart I feel like this person has a closed heart, okay? They have a closed heart for you and like some type of shield around their heart when it comes to you. Um, and it is based off of like all these repressed thoughts and angry feelings and emotions. Like this person has an ice box where their heart used to be. If you know that song, it's by Omarion. This person has an ice box where their heart used to be. And it's like, it's really taking some time with the Wheel of Fortune. It's really taking some time here for them to uh, get to a place where they can open up, you know what I'm saying? Not just open up their heart, but just even open up like their mind to a situation in order to because like if the mind is negative it definitely will cause mental anguish in regards to how they're able to show up emotionally in a situation here with you and there's no cups card here so yeah <laughs> this part i was like there are no cups card here and i see the nine of cups and the page of cups in reverse so this could be like a broken family or uh, a broken family that you have with someone or some type of like healing family issues or this could be someone who just feels like they it's weird like they're definitely closed off emotionally and they're not available emotionally it's if anything they're more like they just they're they're around or they're they're feeling like they just have a sense of duty or responsibility and that's it they want to allow themselves to be emotionally involved in a situation here with you.